What's up, YouTube? You know, we're working on a grill for the OBS right now. So, I'm wiping it down right now with some alcohol. Um, you know, paper towel. Just wiping the dirt off of it and just getting it ready to spray some clear over. I'm just using spray paint. It's just a temporary kind of grill. See how I like it. Because once I get the actual truck repainted, I'll get a new grill and all that because this one's got the chrome peeling and all but i'm gonna flip the camera around and show it real quick you see got it all spray painted white this side's really rough over here i didn't take my time on it because the paint peeled and like wrinkled or something i don't know um so i sanded it down real quick again and you can see there at the bottom it doesn't really show up on camera it's just not painted well and there's just parts of the paint that aren't super well done i'm not really worried about it i'm just kind of wiping it down getting it ready for some clear though so it will hold up a little better but um i'm gonna finish getting this done and then i'll go spray it with the clear and then show you guys that but i'm hoping a lot of this will get buried with the clear we'll see but i'll pick the camera back up once i get done wiping it down and so all I that just sprayed the clear on and then decided the paint wanted to do that so i'm done messing with it um <laughs> i guess it'll just ride like that on the truck um it's like the third time second time it's gonna be the third time probably if i do it again so we got it sprayed but i'm tired of it so However, this turns out is how it's going to turn out, and I'm going to just test fit it on the truck and see how it looks on it, so, yeah, this is the final time, whatever, I'm tired of messing with it, you know. If you're looking to do this to your OBS, you have one, two, three, four, and then five screws you have to take out, and then the grill just pulls out, and I'm going to go ahead and get this grill pulled out, and get the other ones ready to go in. Also, I'd recommend taking out the bottom screw first, which I've done here, just helps it, helps you out. So you're not trying to bend over and get to that one there. You can just come right to the top and pull those. You see, the screws are out, it's just ready to come out. You just pull it out. Now, before you put it back in, I just straighten all these up. Make sure you get the best fit possible easiest so you see there grills out just throw the other one in and you're pretty much done now you want to put your grill back up and those little tabs we messed with you just want to make sure they're all lined up and good don't forget to check your bottom one which i'm going to adjust a little bit all right now i normally start with the middle screw here well, kind of middle, but to the left of the hood latch. Get that one in, and you can see it's holding the grill now. Now I'm going to come over here, get the one to the right of the hood latch, put down and tighten. I just snug it up. You don't want to go too tight and snap your grill. We've got the grill put in. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, it's definitely different. But you see, we got the grill put in. Now, if I were to do this in the future, I'm actually going to paint match that screw also. Just a little detail that I would do. Um, I'm going to close the hood. It really makes a difference when you close the hood, so... Definitely changes the front end up a good bit um, compared to the old one. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. It might grow on me. It doesn't look terrible, you know. You guys drop it down in the comments what you think the new grill looks like compared to the old one.